Welcome back, Bees Bladers, and welcome newcomers to Bees Blades. I am Brian, and I bring you at least two episodes every week with unboxings, overviews, full reviews, and knives with my opinions after I carry them, disassemble, use them, sharpen them, you name it. If it's knife-related, I am game. Thank you to my supporters on Patreon and my engaged subscribers that hit the like button and comment on the regular. I really appreciate that. I uploaded a behind-the-scenes video a few days ago on Patreon, and that was a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to do more of those. Uh, the bell button, don't forget, it has an option to select all so you get notified of new videos and giveaways. And check your subscription box because sometimes YouTube unsubscribes people because it's an algorithm, right? So let's get into it. Links to my Patreon and Instagram are in the description along with my email and mailing address if you want to send something to the channel. So this is a super budget knife, so I'm going to use a budget knife to open it up. Let's see what we have. And Amazon, what is up with, I keep getting my packages look like they're stacking skids on top of them. I don't know what the deal is with uh, packages lately, but I guess it is what it is, right? Dun, 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 dun. So this uh, is a package in a package. Well, how about that? Would you look at it? Um, this is going to be an interesting unboxing. Um, it's a knife company I don't know much about, and I've asked around in the live chats, and nobody seems to know anything about them. It's it's another Chinese-made knife, and as far as I know right now, it's a separate company than than the ones that at least I'm used to. Wow, that's some plastic right there. Now, see, my wife carried this knife, and I don't know if she was cutting bricks with it, but it's not as sharp as I like. So, it, boy, it's well-packaged. Um... So I've seen these knives for a while on the internet, and they were always on, uh, what's that place called? AliExpress. Well, they're on Amazon now. So my question is, are they going to be another one of these companies that, you know, like QSP and come out of the woodwork and become one of those knives that everybody wants? I don't know. Um, I've learned a little bit about these knives just a little bit not much um you know but you know you get you get like the what's the where is it at like this bad boy this one came out and it was a budget knife i don't even it was like 28 30 bucks or something and now it's like one of the most popular knives out there and so i'm like hey let's check this one out all right so here is the box petrified fish so there's not a lot to it it's uh, called the PF-818, so PF-818. Uh, this should be really interesting. At the time of this posting on Amazon, this knife was $28.99, and I will put links to this knife and Petrified Fish knives in the comment if you want to go check them out for yourself. So, nothing else on the box, nothing else on this box, and here it is. And interestingly enough, nothing else in the package, Save those put with your knives so they don't rust. Um, I did see a video where Outpost 76 compared this very knife, compared the D2 steel with Civivi, and it was that as good, if not better. And I was like, what? So that's why I really wanted to check this thing out. So I'm going to give you guys an up close and personal look here so you can see what it looks like. This is G10. And I don't have any green knives, so I was like, yeah, let's go for green. Go for green! And 818, that's the uh, the model number. Is that David Chen? It looks like, yep, David Chen looks like the... Uh, oh, so you can't pull it? Oh, yeah, you can. So there is your blade. Hmm, very interesting. Yeah, I was like, you know, I'll either like it or not like it, but I guarantee this will make for some good conversation because I want to know more about... PF, or Petrified Fish. It's a heck of a name, that's for sure. So there's a, there's a good look at it. I know a lot of people haven't seen it, so that's why I'm going to take my time and let you get a good look at it. Would you look at it? So far, it doesn't look bad. All right, clean up my mess here. So let's run through the Sacred 7, the specs, fit, finish, comparisons, action, ergos, and opinions. And I don't have a lot of info on this knife, so I'm going to run through and do some measurements. And of course, as always, I will put the correct measurements on the overlay. So whatever you see up there is 
what it is. I'm gonna zoom in here for you guys and we'll just get some measurements so we know what we're working with. So, overall length. Do 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 is looks like a hair under eight inches long and just for funsies let's look at the blade so it looks like we're coming in at about three and a half inches and about the same for the for the sharpened length and let's see what kind of blade stock we're working with here blade stock 80 thousandths really is it that thin that can't be right Got a zero out, boys and girls. Doing everything on camera. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. 0 0.129. So, it's about normal. And I'll do the, uh, the thickness behind the edge up on the video here in a minute. Let's see what it feels like. Doesn't feel too bad. So, the blade is D2 steel. I want to make sure you guys aren't too fuzzy here. So, the blade's D2 steel. Um... Doesn't feel too bad. You, let's get a quick width on your blade. We're at uh, 0.896. Can you see that? No. There we go. 0.89. And your handle thickness is coming in at just over a half an inch, 0.52. And your handle width is almost an inch, just a little under an inch for your width. So that's not too bad. Um, the ergos look like they're pretty... Uh, pretty neutral which is always a good thing always nice always a very very nice um, blade is satin finish this isn't a bad looking knife this was 29 bucks 28.99 so this should be very interesting um, you know is this a copy of something else I don't know I don't think so um, it doesn't claim to be anything else uh, there's no other markings on the blade nothing on that side nothing on this side nothing at all um, you've got your 818 right here and your d2 right there so i like that there's no billboarding on it so that's a good thing we're starting off good there so what i do know is that the liners are 2cr13 steel and this is a liner lock it is a flipper tab that was kind of slow what's your lock up there uh, what 30 percent what do you think 30 see what the flipper looks like here so it comes out good on the light switch what about push button oh the action's good on that now i noticed i can fail it oh not that easy so the action for a brand new knife right out of the box i'm not pushing very hard so that's pretty cool and if this had you know this is the d2 steel that was tested by outpost 76 go check that out um it's supposed to be good steel the action is really good so zero blade play there's no lock rock we've got a nice nice big stop pin and it is in the steel liners which is awesome it's not just in g10 um i do have budget models that have that and that's pretty smooth okay what we have for milling any milling yes we do have milling look at there ta 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 pa 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 so we've got some milling, the liners are inset, that is really cool. Pocket clip, are we, we are not, not reversible, but it is a deep carry clip which with your mushrooms sticking up. So we'll see how that does in and out of the pocket. Um, not too much sticking out, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not super deep carry. Uh, you do have a lanyard hole and the lane, so the show side, they've got looking pretty good. Petrified fish. Um, you can't see the lanyard from this side. They just have it on one side, which is uh, pretty cool. It's actually not a bad looking knife. So I'm really curious what we're going to get in the comments about this bad boy. Um, do we have a sharpening choil? Well, it looks like we're right on the plunge grind. Just about. Yeah, there's not going to be much sharpening at all before we're getting a smile up on the plunge grind. But this is a $28 knife. The jimping... Jimping feels a, uh, it's a little rough. It's a little aggressive, but not too bad. What about our hardware? What are we uh, working with here? I mean, I'm sure this is going to be a T8. Do, do, do. Try to do it through the camera and I can't see. And I'm guessing these are going to be just like everything else these days, T6s. Okay, so moving on. I will put a video up here in the corner of it going in and out of the jeans. I don't want to take too, uh, too much of your precious time. And... 
I can't say I have any complaints about the action. What? 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 Holy cow. Dang. I don't have it sideways, but you guys can see it enough. That is smooth. Ooh, nice. Your deployment is, looks like you have one way of deployment. Unless you pull the blade up from up here, maybe to do some fine cutting. But pretty much you're on your flipper. And I, I have to say, I'm impressed. I mean, what what's the problem? This I know this does have ball bearings. Can we see in there? Can we see ball bearings? I think I just got a glimpse of them. Yes, there's your caged ball bearings. Caged ball bearings, inset liner lock. This is looking pretty good. Let's do some quick comparisons. Um, here it is against the uh, Tenacious. Thick wise, it's a little a little thicker than the Tenacious. Uh, what's another one? A lot of people have the PM3. It's a, if I can get a hold of it here, it's a little thicker than the PM3, just a little bit, just a little. And QSP Penguin looks like it's about the same. Pretty darn close, right? So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it up so I get some other knives so you guys can get a really good idea of what size this knife is. We'll just zip through some quick ones right here and I'll list them on the screen. As always, I put the Spyderco Manix 2 up here and the Spyderco Tenacious. Tenacious, Manix 2, Manix 2, Tenacious. Hello. And here's the Spyderco Pair 3. So it has more sharpened, definitely more sharpened length than that. What did we say it was? About three and a half? Um, we run through a couple more here. Here's a QSP Penguin, another budget option that just completely went viral. And a super budget option, which I, I'm all about the controversy. You guys bring it on. Educate me. That's why I'm here. Here is a very popular budget one. I hear people talking about these all the time. It's the uh, Firebird, Firebird 727S in 440 C. So I see people all the time with these knives. And I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know whether I can get a knife. Am I allowed? Is that a is that a brand that that clones? Is it this? Is it that? I don't know. So that's why we're here, right? I want I'm here to learn and to show you what I got and take you guys on this journey with me. Here's the Kershaw Natrix. And I'll just throw up here one two more. Here's the Feldspar. You guys all know the CJRB Feldspar. And lengthwise, it's uh pivot to pivot how about that they're almost identical very close to handle with and uh here's one more and this this is another one so this one was 28 this one you can get around 40 bucks 40 42 bucks you guys all know what that one is right the Savivi backlash are we focused i don't think so look at that about the same same blade length there we go all right so moving on Let's zip through it. How does she feel in the hand? So, feels pretty good. Um, am I getting any hot spots? So, I wouldn't mind if the, the jimping went a little further. Maybe, maybe just a little bit further. But, the grip doesn't feel bad. Um, the clip is not bothering me at all. Um, so, pushing, it doesn't feel bad. It feels pretty strong. It's got those uh, full liners. It's it's strong. I'm not getting any uh, problems there. It's not really a knife you can choke up on. I wouldn't I wouldn't advise it. You can do this number if you wanted to, but it's not it's not really no, no choil up there for any any kind of that business. And of course, I will put a clip up here. I always do of me cutting some leather because the leather really gives me an idea of how you oh. know the the. Uh, Holy cow. Man, that feels pretty good. It looks slicey, boys and girls. Looks a little Ooh, slicey. Wow. Doesn't look too bad. But I don't really have any areas of concern right now. My overall first impressions are 29 bucks? Really? What's what's what am I missing? You know, what am I missing? It's got good action. What am I missing, man? Tell me, tell me, tell me now. Um, so let the commenting begin. I want to know your thoughts, your comments. Petrified fish, have you ever had one? Have you ever heard of them? What's your opinions? Let me know. Uh, it's open for discussion. Remember, you guys, live in the present. Keep your knives sharp. And...
don't cut yourself.